Welcome to the SNAP. I am Josh, the community manager of Dynavap. This is the video series where we provide helpful tips and tricks and answer frequently asked questions. So let's get right into it. In today's episode, I will be going over how to use the all new Hyperdyne. I will be demonstrating with a torch and an eye spire wand today. We will go over more advanced techniques in future episodes, so be sure to subscribe to our channel if you've not done so already. Now, if you've ever used a Dynavap before, you know that it has a relatively small bowl. The Hyperdyne has a bowl that is 2.5 times larger. With that, it requires more heat to achieve that click, and there's more technique involved to get that perfect hit. Before we get started, we need to make sure that you have everything you need. Your herb, I'm gonna be using ground for maximum vapor production, but you can use unground whole nugs for more pronounced terpene profiles. Your heat source, now you can use a bigger torch like this because it is a little bit more forgiving when it comes to big powerful torches, or you can go low and slow with the honest torch, or if you want something like a little bit in between, you can use a triple torch. And of course, the Hyperdyne. Now, let's get into the fun stuff. Step one, remove the Hypercap. Step two, load the herb into your chamber. Step three, put the Hypercap back onto the tip. If you want lower temperature, multi-heat cycle sessions to really kind of prolong the experience, heat towards the crimp. Otherwise, you can heat towards the base as always, to launch to space. Begin rotating your device, either with an infinite spin or back and forth. Add the heat source and aim the flame at the crimp for lower temperature hits or towards the base for higher temperature. I'm just gonna be heating in between for now. Now, once the Hyperdyne clicks, stop heating and take your hit. With the Hyperdyne, I really recommend respecting the click even more so than previous Dynavaps just because of that carryover heat. And then you can use this time to pass it to a friend after you've taken your draw, or you can be selfish and take all those tasty compounds for yourself. When the cool down click occurs, give it an extra 30 seconds or so to really let that cap cool down before you go to touch it. If you want to reheat it, you could reheat it right away. But in this case, I want to check the doneness of that material, so I'm going to let that sit and cool off a little bit more. Now let's go over how to use the Hyperdyne with the Ice Spire Wand. When using the Ice Spire Wand with Hyperdyne, I strongly recommend using the silicone adapter, which was designed to fit all caps, including the Hypercap. Now the Hyperdyne will require more heat and a longer time to get to that click, so hands-free is the way to be. Begin by inserting the silicone wand adapter into the wand, and the deeper you insert the adapter, the lower the temperature of the click, and vice versa. Begin by powering the wand by clicking the power button five times and set the temperature significantly higher than you normally would. The wand's temperature feature works via a timer with the wand's dab cup. So don't worry, this isn't going to burn your herb. We just want to set the timer to its maximum to prevent it from timing out. So double tap that button and insert the Hyperdyne and wait for the click. And now it clicked, so I'm gonna to continue to draw here until it cools down. Otherwise, I could pass to a friend or keep it all to myself. Once I'm done, I can set it down on a temperature safe surface to help speed up that cooling process. And now once that cool down click occurs, as I stated before, if you're going to touch that cap, give it a good 30 seconds to a minute past that cool down click before you go to touch it because it will be hot. This covers our basic tips for using the Hyperdyne with a torch and ice spire wand. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on our upcoming Snap episodes, in which I will show you how changing the configuration of the Hyperdyne can drastically change the performance. And that's all for this episode of the Snap. Again, I'm Josh, and I'll catch you later. If you found this video helpful, click the subscribe button and give us a like. If you liked what you see, make sure that you check out the other videos on our YouTube channel.